so now we are going to perform our fifth step so the fifth step is to perform our main based backup of database so let's proceed further and see how we can do it set oracle sid is equal to db2 our main target connected right now we are connected with db2 using our main backup database and the sixth step is start db3 in no mount mode connect with our main with auxiliary database option so in the next step we are going to start our db3 service in no mount mode using our initialization parameter file so backup has been performed i will just exit from here I will set set Oracle SID is equal to DB three SQL plus sys sub the eight DB three is sys DBA startup force no mount d file is equal to file is equal to init db3 dot aura So this step is also completed and the next step is connect with our main with auxiliary database option. So now we are in a position where we can connect with our main and perform our duplicate database command. Our main target sys subter connect with db2 and in auxiliary mode connect with using sys password is subdar and database service which we just started is db3 now you can see our our main utility is connected with target database so this is the place where we are going to execute very important statement which is duplicate target database command so what I have done is that I have written the script and I will just paste it here and then explain each of each line so that you could follow it properly okay so this is the script it's a run block which starts from here and ends here for 
file number one of db1 the new file which armin is going to create is going to be stored into a folder db3 the name of the file is going to be system01.dbf the second file is file number 2 armin is going to store file number 2 into a separate folder that is db3 backslash undo tbs01 is the name of the file third file is file uh, file number 3 and the name of the file is sysaux01 fourth is users01 and fifth one is my tbs01 so these five files as we know made up our database so if you will go and check the database it will show you the names of all the files which we uh, discussed earlier in this video so once all the files names are set we will execute the command duplicate target database and you remember our target database is db2 duplicate target database to db3 db3 is our service name this is how we have connected with our database target database is our db2 db3 is our empty instance using a p file which we have created in the first step no file name check is a parameter log file log file group 1 is this redo log file 50 mb is the size group 2 has this file group 3 has this file so at this stage we have written whole script which is going to be execute through armin so let's proceed further and execute the script and see how armin restore our database how armin create our duplicate database so i will just paste it here now armin is creating data files which we have set in a new name once these data files are being restored from the backup which we created earlier in the very initial stage armin is going to restore the control file armin is going to create redo log files so here we go So you can see Armin has opened the database. Now if you will just exit from here, set oracle sid db3 sql plus is sysdba, select name from v dollar database, select name status from v dollar instance select name from v dollar data file select name from v dollar member from v dollar log file so you can see that these data files have been restored into db3 folder database has been opened so what we are going to do now is we are going to create our uh, redo log file uh, the temporary uh, table space files so we are on step number 10 which is add temporary file into temporary table space we will do so alter table 
space temp id temp file t or our data tp3 temp 0 2 dot tpf size is 10 m but uh, now we will remove the old file this temp drop temp file d for our data tp3 temp 0 1 2 dot tpf file so our temporary file has also been created so now our database which we started by creating a simple simple parameter file is complete we created a parameter file we created a service we created a password file we configured the network perform full backup of tb2 node uh, Note down database file names, start db3 in no mount mode, connect with armin, execute duplicate target statement, wrote this script, finally we added the data, uh, added the temporary file. So uh, this is all about it and this is how you can create a duplicate database using armin your current database will remain online it will not be affected and you will be able to create the duplicate database thank you very much